Okay, I'm going to make you a quick little video here. Um, I mean, just in Microsoft OneNote. Um, so the idea, what you were asking about, is um, what's P, what's Q. So the idea, is it's actually not that uh, big a deal. The it's just for any function. It can be cubic, quadratic, anything. Um, so I'll, I'll do something that you already know how to do. X squared minus. Now let me get plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So let's say we were trying to um, do this problem. The You would say, I, at this point, I know I can just factor this out to be x plus 2 times x plus 1 equals 0 and ready to solve. So therefore, I know my, x, my answer is x minus 2 and x equals negative 1. Um, but what if... Here, so let's get rid of all this stuff here. So the idea, though, is... What if we didn't know that? What if this was a cubic, quartic, whatever? Um, what's a, a way that we can limit the number of possible outcomes or possible numbers that we'd have to try for factoring or for uh, um, division, long division or synthetic division? Um, and so here we always call this P and then this one over here is always called Q. So the... The, the coefficients, the coefficients, sorry, excuse me, um, what did I just circle there, the, the coefficient here, that's Q, uh, or P, and Q, the, the letters are arbitrary, you could call this one Q and this one P, it's really always all the factors of your constant term divided by all the factors of your, um, Coefficient that is the uh, multiplying the term that has the largest degree. So in this case, since this is squared, this is the coefficient. The coefficient is one. So therefore, it's the factors of all the factors of two, all the factors of two. So that's one and two divided by all the factors of one. So that'd be one. Um, so therefore, and they're always plus and minus. So my possible numbers I need to check are plus and minus one and plus and minus 2. So there's four different possible numbers I can check. So now we go into the synthetic division. I'm going to try, let's try negative 2. Um, so my coefficients were originally 1, 3, and, oops, excuse me, uh, just learning one note. So you're, you're my guinea pig. I'm playing in here. 1, 3, and 2. So then we bring down the 1. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Add that together makes 1 negative 2, 0. So therefore, I know one of my answers is negative 2. Um, so therefore, I know one of the factors is x plus 2 times x plus 1 by reading it right there. So what would this look like if um, what would this look like if we got it wrong. What if we guess wrong? So back to our original problem, which was x squared 3x plus 2. Okay, so x squared plus 3x plus 2. So therefore, again, what, what if instead of trying, I already did, I did negative 2. Now if I did positive 2 is one of my answers. So therefore, 2, 1, 3, 2, bring this down, 1, 2, 5, 10, remainder of 12. Therefore, we know not a solution. Okay, so I hope the process is making sense. So now let me give you one where I, I think where to get to your question that you're really asking here is, well, all right, so what if Professor Dwork gave me something like this? 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x plus, let me make this one an interesting number, excuse me. Uh, let's make this an interesting number of uh, 6. Why not? Okay, so... All the factors of 6 divided by all the factors of 3. So the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Factors of 3 are 1 and 3. So therefore, all the numbers I need to try in synthetic to see, find, see if any of them give me a 0 is 1, plus or minus 1, or 1 third, 2 or 2 thirds, 3 or three thirds, but wait a second, three thirds is the same thing as, sorry, three thirds, that's the same thing as one, so therefore, I don't need to do that one again. Um, six or six thirds, but wait, six thirds is the same thing as two, so I don't need to do that one again. So what that leaves me with is the list of, let me see, the list of um, one, one third, two, two thirds, three, six, all plus and minus. Um, but I don't actually have to do 
all that much work, because all I'm going to do here is do synthetic. So with the number one, I'll say three, two, sorry, and do note, they have to go in order. So this is to the fourth, this is to the third. Since I have no square, I need to put zero, one, six, write this down, and now I'm ready to start testing my numbers. So three times one is three, that makes five, and what you're going to see very quickly here, uh, there's no way I'm going to end up with a negative, so this poss cannot possibly be my answer. So there's no way one's going to work. I need negatives to be introduced. So let's try, let's try making a negative one. So negative three, that makes negative one, which makes positive one, which makes one when I add, so that makes now a negative one, which makes zero, which makes zero, which makes six. Shucks, not an answer. So now from my list, I know it can't be positive minus one. So now I can, I personally don't like to jump to one third, I'll try two. And you can carry this on, so on and so forth, um, until you find something that works. I hope that video clarifies, and um, let me know if you need anything else.